Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Somali coming on here with another video. You guys, first and foremost, I want to thank you guys so freaking much for getting me to 2k subscribers and i know it's because of my weight loss i know it's because you guys are following my journey and i just want to thank you guys so much so i'm definitely going to be making more videos with regards to my weight loss and everything that i did in order to lose weight i am still on my journey and the reason why I wasn't making videos is because in order for me to make these weight loss videos and to talk to you guys about this kind of stuff, I need to personally make sure that I am in the right headspace and that I am also not lying to you guys about my weight. I want you guys to stay tuned for Watch Me Shrink episode 4 where I will be giving you guys a big update about my current weight and where i'm at and where i'm going and just basically everything so just stay tuned for watch me shrink episode four a little bit of things are different i'm looking a little bit slimmer so just stay tuned for that update now to get into the freaking video you guys since i have lost a hundred pounds there are eight things that have gotten bigger if you guys have seen my 10 things i wish i would have known before i lost 100 pounds then this video is right up your alley so this is eight things that have gotten bigger since i lost 100 pounds normally when you lose weight things get smaller but i'm letting you guys know things get bigger so let's just get right into it number one one of the things that get bigger is your facial features now this is really really funny to me because it got to a point where people was asking me if i had gotten surgery like it had got to that point and to me it really wasn't that serious and i didn't see it but now that i look back at the videos and i will insert now that i look back at the videos yeah like yeah there was a big difference so one of my facial features that have gotten bigger is my lips my lips have gotten bigger even to the point where my doctor asked me did i get any work done like have you had any work done and i'm like no and i'm just sitting there like because i could not fathom it i'm like what is she talking about and then she finally said did you get anything on your face done and i'm like no I didn't get anything done and she was just like okay but I'm just after I didn't I didn't ask my doctor like what did she think I got done because it didn't hit me until I left because I actually went on a few dates and some guys had asked me the same thing but it could be because I have a bit of hyperpigmentation on my lip so maybe they think i got an injection in my lip and you know it's visible i don't know so your facial features definitely get bigger when you lose weight i notice that my eyes are like you know way more like noticeable my nose is a little bit more chiseled like bigger where you can see it my lips are bigger you can see my dimples more so these are just some of the things that get bigger as you lose weight your facial features will show more and people actually was starting to think that i got work done i just think that's so freaking crazy okay let's get into number two i mean this is just common sense your clothes your clothes get bigger now me personally this is new this is new that i have on but majority of my clothes are still my bigger clothes simply because before i go out and splurge and buy clothes i want to make sure that i am at my goal freaking weight so i buy a little pieces of clothes here and there but i don't really focus too much of my energy on it because i know that i'm not at where i want to be at so when i get at where i want to be at that's when i'm going to go shopping so if you guys don't know much about my journey 
Um, my largest pan size was a size 22. I was 300 pounds and I'm currently a size 9, 10. I can actually fit a size 9, which is like, it's, it's freaking mind blowing to me. And um, yeah, I'm still not at my goal weight. I'm still working on my way there, but I'm very, very proud of my progress. In my shirts, I went from a size 2X, 3X to now I'm currently a medium. Like I still wear a large, but I'm actually a medium. And that's strange to me. This shirt that I'm wearing right now is a freaking medium. And yeah, it's, it's, just, it's just crazy. So, I mean, you guys already know that your clothes get bigger this right here this is freaking crazy to me because i never had one before but when i lost weight i had one even to the point where when i'm around my mom my mom slaps my butt so number three my butt got bigger when i lost 100 pounds like i have a booty i did not have a booty before i did not have a booty and i will insert a picture just to show you guys Number four, the number fourth thing that have gotten bigger is my dreams and my aspirations. So if you guys have seen my 10 things I wish I would have known before I lost 100 pounds and you heard my story, then you would know that my dreams and my aspirations have gotten bigger because it's like if I can lose 100 freaking pounds. Wow. That takes more than physical determination. That takes mental determination. So if you can do that, literally, literally, you can do anything. Losing weight is hard. Losing weight is hard. Whether you're doing it the natural way, whether you have gotten surgery, you, even if you've gotten surgery, you still have to work to change your habits to keep that weight off or the weight will come back. It's hard. It's hard. So when you lose weight, your dreams, your aspirations get bigger. You start seeing life in a whole new different way, a whole new world. Literally, like a whole new world. Number five, your freaking life. Your life gets bigger. Your life gets bigger. You know, everything freaking changes when you lose weight. You're wearing different clothes. You're doing things that you thought you never could do. Like getting on that roller coaster that you could not fit on. It was to the point where I didn't even want to go to amusement parks. Like I didn't want to freaking go because <sighs> story time. I got on a roller coaster when I was 300 pounds and it did not close. The line was so freaking long for this roller coaster i waited online it was so many people who saw me big as a house and could not get on the freaking roller coaster because it would not click it would not click down <laughs> is so hurtful it's a realization that you need to make some life changes so your lifestyle totally changes your lifestyle gets bigger you start doing things that you never would have done before you start going places that you would not have went you start wanting things that you thought you didn't deserve like it's so freaking real like and i don't want to get emotional but it's so freaking real. Number six, before I start crying. Personality. Your personality gets bigger. Me personally, like, I've always been a mellow person. I've always been the type of person where I wasn't really too friendly with people. And maybe I felt like 
I didn't really have a voice or people didn't really want to hear what I wanted to say or maybe I felt like people didn't really respect my opinion because I was bigger or maybe I felt like I had no credibility. I don't know. I don't know. But I noticed that personally, my personality has gotten much bigger and I'm able to say what I need to say regardless of whoever might feel a certain way about it. Um, and however way they feel about it, it does not affect me mentally because not only did I lose weight and I gained physical strength, I gained mental strength. So my personality is like, I don't give a fuck. Yeah, don't care, don't care, don't care. still don't care. I don't care, I don't. <laughs> I don't care. What'd you say? Just I just want to know what you okay. said. What did you say? I don't care. I don't care. I don't care what you think. I don't care what you say. Honestly, I read something the other day and it said that it's none of your business what people think about you. It's none of your freaking business. And that it and it hit me so freaking hard because I wish I had this mentality when I was 300 pounds because you really do care what people think about you. You know what I'm saying? Like, you go into small spaces and you want to suck in because you don't want to be, you know, taking up that much space. You know what I mean? I don't care. I'm going to speak my mind. I'm going to be vocal. And... Don't get me wrong, like I'm still very, very reserved, but anything that I feel like I need to say, I'm going to say it. And I feel like I owe myself so freaking much for everything that I haven't said over the years. You know what I mean? So it's crazy, guys. Speaking of speaking your mind, number seven, another thing that gets bigger is the criticism. People will criticize you for every freaking thing you are a hater for the way you dress for your hair for your makeup for everything if you're not losing enough weight if they know you're on a journey and you're not losing enough weight why do you care why do you care it got to a point where it's a lot of things that i didn't say that i experienced but i told y'all i was at a job for like five years so I came into that job with weight on me. But I think my third year there is when I really had got the biggest. Like, I got the biggest. So when I finally did lose the weight, one of my coworkers was like, well, yeah, I'm happy you finally got that weight off because you've been trying to lose it for how long? Like, five years? And it was just like... First off, I didn't say this. I just couldn't believe like she fixed her mouth to say some shit like that. But first off, my weight has been something that I've struggled with since I was five years old. So this is not no thing that I just started when I started working here. This is like my life. This is this is my life. This is my work in progress. It has nothing to do with you. Even somebody else had the nerve to say, Mind you, she was bigger than me at the time, and I was on my way down. I just say that to make a point. She said, um, well, when I first started my journey, it took me three months to lose about 40, 50 pounds. Let me tell y'all, do not listen to freaking people However long it takes you to lose that weight, it takes you to lose that weight. Don't let people get into your head and try and put a fixed time or on how much weight you need to lose. You will get there when you get there. Don't let people come in and make you feel bad for your journey. They don't know everything that you have been through in your life. They have not experienced the things that you have experienced in your freaking life. Don't let these people come in and make you feel bad. Don't do it. Don't let them get in your head. If you're losing a pound a week or a pound a freaking month, so what this is your journey you're not doing this for nobody but you so i'm telling you that 
your criticism gets bigger and you have to be strong in your spot and know that I'm going to get there when I get there. Period. Period. Nothing enough to say like period. Period. Number eight. And I owe this to you guys. So you will have a bigger freaking purpose. Like you guys have given me a bigger purpose. I realize that people do seek me for motivational purposes to get to where they need to be. And because of that, I, I not only do this for myself, but I do do this for you guys to let you guys know that it can be freaking done. A lot of family and friends and people that I never even thought was noticing my weight loss, they use me as freaking motivation to get to where they are because they know me personally. So your purpose will get bigger. You never know who's watching your story. You never know who you're impacting. You just never know who you're freaking helping by speaking out and by showing people that, hey, I can lose this freaking weight. I can get to where I need to be. So your purpose in life gets bigger and you guys keep me on point. You guys keep me on point. Cause I'm like, uh-uh. TKO this morning. Shit was real. Shit was real. This is proof. This is proof. People depend on me. And that's kind of the reason why I didn't want to do another episode of Watch Me Shrink. But it is coming up soon because y'all gonna see. Y'all gonna see in the next video. Y'all gonna see. But... I want to thank you guys so freaking much for watching this video and again thank you so much for 2k subscribers if you guys would have told me i would be here today i know it sounds like uh it's just 2000 you know it ain't like you at 1 million but it's important to me because 2000 subscribers is to me it says that 2000 freaking people believe in little old May. And little old Mike, 2000, let me stop, because y'all know I can go into a whole nother different personality, but 2,000 freaking people believe in me, and I want to thank you guys so much, and I want to let you guys know that I believe in you too. Make sure you hit that like button, show me some love down below, drop a heart, say hi, comment something positive, you guys were so freaking positive on my 10 things i wish i would have known before i lost 100 pounds video and i just want you guys to keep it going because you guys made it a safe space for people to talk about things that we all struggle with and that we can relate to so i want you guys to do the same thing down below you guys know that i communicate with you you guys know that i am very very interactive like i comment i like i love interacting with you guys so comment down below and make sure you hit that subscribe button and i will have plenty plenty more videos coming for you guys thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next video don't make me cry don't make me cry okay bye don't make me cry okay bye don't make me cry okay Where was Ramonian?